hope you enjoyed your Stampolines video from the number blocks. I really loved it. So I've got a couple of things you can do today. One of them, you could get some blocks or cubes if you've got any at home. And you could see all the different ways that you can make your blocks. So for example, you could have a three that looks like this, or you could have a three that looks like this. Okay, so if you've got some blocks at home, you could build them in different ways. So you could have a four and a four, just like the number blocks did when they threw themselves in the paint and landed on the paper. But the other thing you could do is you could draw the number blocks. You could draw your number one number block to look any way you like. Obviously, it would be a square. But the number three number block, you could have it looking like this with its face here or its face here. Or you could have the number three number block looking like this. It's up to you. You could draw them. You could paint them. If you've got something like a square like this that you could stick in a bit of paint and stamp and create as many different ways of making three and as many different ways of making four and five. So I've got this one as a five and I have got this one as a five. Two different ways of making five. There's so many other ways you can make five. You could, let me see if I can take that off. Make five, it looks a bit like a number seven, doesn't it? You could make a five like that. There's loads of different ways. You could literally have some paper with some squares marked on it and you could color in the squares to all the different shapes you can come up with, focusing on one number at a time. Hopefully I haven't confused you with my thought process there. Well, have fun and I can't wait to see your drawings, paintings or even your blocks that you've put together.